the holders of the psyche. In any city, in any country, go to any theatre you can get yourself to, whether it be a theatre for plays, cinema, or concerts. At the front desk, ask to watch either the holder of the id or the holder of the superego. Commit to one and never, ever seek the other, for meeting both, even centuries apart, shall lock your mind in an eternal civil war. The receptionist will give you a ticket. Walk away from the theatre in any direction until you see a man garbed in deep green standing in a narrow alley with a door on each side. Hand to him the ticket and he will offer to unlock one of the doors. Touch the doorknob of one and only one of the doors. If a wave of irrational hatred spreads through your body, the door will take you to the holder of the id. If instead you are overcome with unbearable fear, the door will take you to the holder of the superego. Ask the man to unlock the door that leads to the holder you requested. If you do otherwise, the opposite holder will emerge and rob you of your ability to think, leaving your body and soul complete but mindless for the rest of your miserable existence. Having chosen the proper door, step through the threshold and the man will close the door behind you. The room should be an empty theatre with an elevated stage. Take a seat so that the play may begin. Once the marionettes descend onto the stage, do not shift your eyes from the performance or the puppeteers will take offence. If that should happen, plead his forgiveness and beg him to continue. If he does not accept your apologies, your hollowed body shall be added to his collection of hand puppets. The marionette actors reenact every important decision you have made in your life. As you watch, always be confident that you had made the right choice. If you should, for a second, regret or take back one of the decisions, the actors will infinitely repeat that scene. You will be unable to leave, let alone look away for all eternity. After the play ends and the puppeteer leaves, remain seated. Within a few minutes, a figure should step out on stage. If you had called upon the holder of the id, a giant, nude, muscular man with an enormous erect phallus and bloodied fists should emerge from stage left. If you had called upon the holder of the superego, a petite woman in an extravagant robe and veil covering every square inch of skin should gracefully step in from stage right. To whomever appears, shout the following question. Is the power worth the consequence? The figure will not speak, but only stare. Do not break eye contact, or your power to think shall be lost to the figure. As you stare, you will slowly come to realize the answer to your own question. When you have the full answer, the figure will leave the stage from the side that he or she entered. Reach under your seat and pick up the coin beneath it, then quickly exit the theatre. The coin is identical regardless of the holder that appeared. This coin is number 569.